there and it was a shame. Check it. And I might just get my money. This is the problem. And so it is case now for you to And if you think about Carly, what are we doing? This is good Carly. We're putting the body between. That's the shield against the weapon. This is just good Carly. Right from there. If I can get hold of this either. And yeah, oh, you might get your hand cut. So I'm very used to my worries right now, getting my hand cut. You know, I've probably been stabbed like three or four times already. But if I can get onto this hand in any way at all, I'm going to twist it and try and get this and just turn it up slightly. Just so he doesn't have a strong ring, because for him, he can punch us out there. That's just straight. I don't have to get on it. See what I mean? So as far as me trying to get on this and then drop him, if I get anything on this, I just want to turn it, twist it. It's not like I'm trying to stab it. I'm just trying to affect the structure in his arm. Yeah, I'm just pronating his wrist. His arm. That is him. And then the takedown. This is the takedown we work on with anybody, any size. It's a seat drop. Yeah, so from this position here, it's old school floor training, it's all good for you. If you go from here to this position, that knee goes in, I drop down, and it doesn't matter how big a person is, you can very comfortably, and we're letting use his hand, and we're going to his hand. Big movement where I can still keep it pinned on my head. 